from Farmhouse North in Minnesota, Icewood Shave Soap. We're going to build a lather with it, and we're going to have a shave coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and web channels everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeStune.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Really do appreciate it. We have a brand new shave soap in the shave den, courtesy of viewer Rodney Ripplinger. Before we get to that, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, Rodney Ripplinger very, very kindly sent along from Farmhouse North, they're located in Minnesota, Ice Woods Shave Soap. Yeah, how about that? This is a tallow kokum shave soap. Really looking forward to trying this. We've tried their shave soap before. I like it a lot. This scent, Ice Woods, they call it number two, Ice Woods right there. This scent, oh, this is Marvelous. This is a perfect scent for late autumn into winter. You could use it year round though. It's perfect and the name of it, Ice Woods, captures the scent perfectly. Yeah, really very, very nice. Thank you very much, Rodney, for sending this along. And we're going to be doing a face lather. We're going to be using my Doppler uh, shaving brush from Phoenix Shaving. Now, the reason why we're doing a face lather is because I remarked when I showed this on the Monday morning mailbag that there's a lot of room. It's a four and a half ounce puck, but there's a lot of room from the top of this puck to the top of the container. So you can really get your brush in there and really, really do a nice brush load and actually build some cream and build some lather in there. So that's what we're going to do. Looking forward to this. Now, uh, Jen over there at uh, Farmhouse North very kindly uh, included some of their new aftershave milk gel post-shave I guess it's a balm, it might be, I think it's a balm, might be a, well, it's a gel, I'm assuming it's close to a balm or a gel, as it says on the label. Haven't used it yet, we're going to use it together for the first time, and I'll let you know what it is, but it's an aftershave milk gel. So, it's a kind of a post-shave balm gel, I'm thinking, so I'm really excited to try, to try this out, and it's also in the Ice Woods scent. So, yeah, this... It promises to be a really, really nice shave. We're also going to use my brush scuttle to keep everything nice and warm. Ah, my razor. My razor is going to be the Yates 921M with the mild base plate. And I already have a Gillette Platinum blade installed. This is the Swede blade. Uh, this is the second use on this blade. You can see the blade balance and alignment are perfect on there. And there is... Uh, the end tabs are enclosed in the razor head. This razor was courtesy of viewer Beth Jones. Thank you very, very much, Beth. Really do appreciate it, as were the blades. So thank you again, Beth. Really do appreciate it. So I think that's got kind of a lay of the land. We're not going to kick it off with any pre-shave because I want to show you the performance of the shave soap. We're also going to use my Allen Block, the no-slip grip, a dry dock system uh, from uh, Phoenix Shaving to kind of... Uh, wrap things up, but I think that's got everything covered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start some hot water. I'm going to put some hot water on top of the puck. I'm going to soak the brush. We're going to uh, do that. For the, we're going to let everything soak for the equivalent of a nice hot shower, and then we're going to come back to start the shave. So hang in there with me. Okay, we're all set. I also had a chance to remove all those uh, hand towels that were back there from my previous shaves, but what I tend to do is I tend to rotate them and use them to dry off my hands and to mop off the counter and that sort of thing. And then from there, they go right into the laundry and then I bring out some... Uh, and then this, what I'll use here for to dry off my face and, uh, you know, clean my razor and everything, this will get hung over there. And then on the next shave, that'll be moved into the department where I uh, dry off my hands and mop off the counter, that sort of thing. So that's kind of how I rotate my uh, hand towels through my uh, daily shave, just so you know. All right, 
Here we've got the uh, hot water on top of the puck. We're going to go ahead and dump that in there and kind of let kind of let that uh, be used as a uh, pre-shake, so to speak. Let's wet the face. Let's get to the shake. Already some really, really great, great slickness there. That is nice. Wow. So we're going to go ahead and load this brush up. And uh, probably have to work this in a little more because I may have used, may have had a little too much water remain in that brush. We'll see. We'll see. But you can see already, my gosh, it's starting to overflow. Yeah, boy, oh boy. Look at that. It's already, my gosh, that is already starting to cream up really, really well. My gosh, that's amazing. Look at that. Yeah, I'm going to just have to work that in a little bit more. Man, and it's really slick in my hand right now. So I'm glad it's a plastic container. And look, look how much, look how, look, look, I mean, it's just like in an instant. Look at that. A great, a great scent. All I can say is Ice Woods is per, the perfect name for this scent. Absolutely, and look, look how it's starting to just, look at that, how it's starting to get nice and yogurty, and look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh. Wow, 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 wow. That's fantastic. Okay, here we go. We're going to go ahead and do a face lather here. My gosh, look at that. My gosh, that's phenomenal. It's a 26 millimeter knot on this Doppler brush. And it is super, super soft. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get just a little more. Boy, that's slick. That is really, really slick. I'm going to get just a little bit more water on the brush here. And add that to maybe give that a little better consistency, balance it out. Look, look at that. Boy, this is a great scent. I would say this is kind of in the barbershop category, but with a little bit of a kick. That's kind of the way it impresses me right now. Wow. Look at that. that. Wow. That is wonderful. Look at that. And I got plenty on the brush right here. Look at that. Oh, I got one day's worth of beard growth here. And it looks like, wow. And I definitely need this towel to wipe off my hands because that is slick. That is really slick. So let's heat up the razor. It's ready to go. The Yates 921M, this has got the mild base plate on it with a Gillette Platinum blade, second use, the Swede blade. Wow, that is really, really slick. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Boy, that's some nice slickness there. Boy, that is, that's terrific. No tugging or pulling. That's really nice. Doing a nice job of removing that whisker. I 
nice residual slickness to allow me to do a little bit of cleanup even though the lather was removed. There's some nice residual slickness there. Boy, <laughs> this is nice. Again, the, the scent is really kind of in the barbershop ballpark, only it's got a little extra kick there of some kind. Now I got like a little blemish or something here, and it's skipping right over that. That's terrific. All right, first pass done, let's rinse. I like to throw the extra water on there. Uh, right there, it's socially acceptable, wow. I like to throw the extra water on there in order to add a little more water uh, for the uh, next lathering pass. And uh, here it is right here. So I got a little bit of extra water in there and that kind of helps. Helps develop that lather and kind of bring it back. Oh yeah, this is, this is a wonderful lather. This is really, this is as good and as slick as a, a lot of super slicks that I talk about. But it's got that slickness, but it's also got that beautiful, beautiful yogurty kind of lather. <laughs> wow, that is, boy, that's nice. That's really, really nice. Oh, that's, that's terrific. Look at that. Look at that. Right there. And the thing is, it maintains that nice lather and consistency and thickness and creaminess. It doesn't break down while I'm shaving. That's wonderful. We're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Boy, that's, again, there's no tugging or pulling at all on the neck. Nothing. I mean, it's just a really nice, smooth sweep of a shave there. Boy, that's, that is really, really nice. And again, I've got some residual slickness there. It's just, it's, it's there if I want to. Ordinarily, you know, once you shave away the cream, move on to the next area with cream. You know, with this shave soap, there is some residual slickness to where you can kind of cheat a little bit if you want. I would, I would still be cautious with any with any shave soap, just so you know, but I am using a really nice, mild yet efficient razor in the 921M. All right, let's make sure we can get this. Now, the first time around, the 921 did a nice job of getting uh, the majority of the whiskers up underneath the nostrils. This is just going to be a little cleanup here. Boy, that did a nice job. Boy, that's, that's really nice. Second pass done. Let's rinse. That's definitely a two-pass shave. And the nice thing is, whatever I have here, it just 
really just skip right over. Of course, I was careful, but the shave soap really, really did help a great deal. It's a two-pass shave. It really is. But this razor, this blade, this shave soap, one day's worth of growth. Two days' worth of growth, I'm probably looking at uh, a little touch-up, a third pass. But man, oh man, that was <laughs> that's nice and close. That's marvelous. That's all I'm going to need, really. That's terrific. All right, we're going to do my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. Oh, that's terrific. I'm going to flip it to the cold water side. What a nice, what a nice result. Just a really nice result. All right, I'm just waiting for it to cool down. All right, there it is, cold water rinse. That's terrific. That's really, really wonderful post-shave feel so far. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. I mean, no pre-shave of any kind and look at what kind of lather I got. Absolutely beautiful. Now, if I were to use the Cube 2.0 as my pre-shave, wow, really, really going to see some really big, big lather again. I mean, those two together, it's going to just be unstoppable, uh, unstoppable lather. It's going to be amazing. Now, what a nice result. A nice, a nice glow there, you know, a nice, a nice brightness to the face. Uh, and I think part of it is because uh, of the contrast of having the whisker on there. And then once it's removed, you see a little more of your skin and you see that brightness come out. And it's just a nice result. And, you know, as I'm feeling through my skin uh, with a lot of my shaves, you know, you might feel just a little bit of whisker and be tempted to kind of maybe, you know, uh, chase the BBS. Nah, you know, sometimes... You just kind of have to gauge it and understand that that whisker is going to retract after that excess moisture is thrown off and the, 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 the shaft of the whisker throws off that excess um, water uh, and deep plumps, so to speak, okay, because the shaft is hollow and that water gets in there and plumps it up. When that plumpness is gone, it retracts a little bit and you get this really nice BBS result. And uh, that's why I say sometimes I'm on my way to BBS. And with this one, I'm on my way to BBS, I can tell. I can tell, absolutely. All right, and you'll learn to gauge that. As you do the wet shave more and more, you'll learn to understand when you're done and when you, and, and, and you'll learn to know when that, uh, that the whisker will be retracting. All right, so here's my uh, Allen block underneath some cold water. We'll see what kind of feedback we get. Oh, that's nice and smooth. That's smooth as ice. And there's no sticking. There's no zinging at all. There's some nice bracing. That's terrific. That really is a nice result. Wow. Okay, maybe a little zing. Maybe right there. A little delayed zing. Nothing here. Whatever's, whatever's going on there. I'm just glad that the razor and the shave soap didn't open up anything, but I think that speaks to the protection that this shave soap gives you. That lather has that really nice protection, that really, really nice, slick glide that allows you know, your blade to skip over something like that. Okay, so, oh, here, let me show you. <laughs> here, there's the dry dock. It goes in there like that, and then the air in the room will do the rest of the work drying that off. Here is the brush. All right. Doppler did a great job, but look at this. Look at this here. Okay. Look at that. Okay. Now here's where, here's where you, you know, you want to just generate a little more like this. Okay. And then you can see the, the lather and the creaminess and the yogurtiness come back. Yogurtiness? Is that a, 
Is that a word? Yogurt-like quality. Okay, okay, so here, look, look. Ooh, oops. Look at that. It's on my light there. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> How about that, huh? Huh? Is that fantastic? Yeah. So that's what I would get for a third pass doing a face lather and uh, working that in a little bit. Look how nice and creamy that is. Let me get that off my light there. Look at that. Look at that. My gosh. That's on my light. Okay. Look at that. Look at how creamy that is. All right. Let me, <laughs> let me wipe that off my hands. Man, that's, that's tremendous. Again, that's why I have the towel here. And it's very, very slick. I'm glad I have a towel to dry off my hands because it is a, there is a really nice slick quality to it. Just wiping off the the uh, the light here because the the lather just was exploded off the brush there. It really <laughs> generates a lot. You introduce a little more a little more uh, friction or a little bit more water, either or, and it just comes back and it's beautiful. Lathering, yeah, lather yogurty consistency is terrific. All right, so now let's try for post shave here. Let's try this, this product here, this gel, and this should be. It's got a pump bottle. Let's take a look and see what we got here. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It is kind of a balm, kind of a thick, kind of consistency there. That's great. Here we go. Oh, this is nice. That's nice. It's got some nice moisturizing qualities in it. I don't know what the ingredients are. I'll have to look that up after the shave. But there's 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 nothing there hitting me over the head. There's no stinging or zinging or anything like that. It's a very nice moisturizing uh, kind of post-shave balm. That's nice. Very uh, calming. Absolutely. I'm going to put a little bit on top of the head here. I'm, I'm due for a head shave, so we'll just go up here like this, just a little bit. Because I might be doing a head shave lay, later on. Wow, that's great shave. That was really, really wonderful. Great, great lathering quality. Great lather. Uh, nice and thick and rich and yogurty and cushiony. Great slickness. Great glide. Uh, you know, let me recap this here. This was also very, very good. I like that a lot. But let me show you the the tub here is just the soap is all over here. It is just overflowing. My goodness, you can see you can see here how much I have just from here. I'm going to show you. You can still see here how much I have in here. Look at that. Look at that. That's how much I have inside that was generated just from that one shave. Look at that. That's how much I have left. So if I didn't have any on the brush, I had more here in the tub. That could uh, that I could use. I mean that is remarkable. Next time I'm going to do a bowl lather with this. This is just it's almost the equivalent of a bowl lather. What I did with what I did with it, but uh, it's just I mean again look how fantastic that is really nice. Tallow and cocoa shave soap, uh, kind of a one-two punch. That's fantastic. My gosh, this has been an absolutely Wonderful, wonderful shave. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Uh, absolutely fantastic. And again, I'm very, very grateful to Jim for sending along the uh, aftershave milk gel. This is really a nice product. Really, again, has a really nice calming effect. It's in the ice wood scent. Again, I kind of put that in the barbershop category with a little bit of a kick. And uh, just absolutely terrific. So... Yeah, really, really enjoyed this. I'll put the lid back on for display purposes, and then I'll take it off and let it dry off after the cameras are off. But there it is, Farmhouse North Ice Woods. What a wonderful shave soap. Again, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Great post-shave feel from the soap and also from the uh, aftershave milk gel. Uh, Barbershop-like scent. To me, it's in that ballpark, kind of in that ballpark, but it's got a little extra kick to it. Uh, and Ice Woods uh, captures the scent perfectly. Uh, as I say, as it gets cooler, this really is 
uh, a very good one to have. You can use it year round though. That's the impression I get. And uh, the scent is not overstated. It doesn't hit you over the head. It is a nice balanced scent so that when you wear this, uh, I think people will notice it, but it's not going to overwhelm them. That's the impression I get. And boy, I am on my way to a BVS shave here. Uh, that's, that is absolutely terrific. So there it is from, from Farmhouse North in Minnesota. Number two, Ice Woods, courtesy of viewer Rodney Ripplinger. And my thanks to Farmhouse North's owner, Jim, for sending along the bonus aftershave milk gel. Thank you both very very much i really appreciate it robbie thank you so much for your support of the channel and jen thank you for this little extra bonus i really do appreciate it all right that's it thanks very much for tuning in again i really do appreciate it please share please subscribe please like hit that bell so it'll give you all the next time i upload a video comment below let me know check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers you see displayed on the bottom of the screen they make and offer some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance and upgrade your traditional wet shave. So when you get a chance, please give them a look. I certainly would appreciate it. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized, so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.